Tech Talk. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to another Tech Talk here at Rickety's Productions. It's the new year. It is uh, January 4th, when I'm uploading this, at least. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, exciting time. CES is coming up, so let's uh, get into it. Let's talk about what our topic is going to be. I got Manuel and Austin here with me, so good to have them both back at the same time. Um, so let's just talk with my rundown. I'm just going to read off of that real quick. After a period of not having Tech Talk for about a month and then getting only two, then having another break for the holidays, we know all of you have been craving to hear what we have wait, here at Rickety's Productions are thinking about everything happening, happening in this newest year. CES is coming up and many exciting things are going to happen there from 8K TVs, 6K TVs, and a new Desire from phone from HTC. These are all exciting things coming out of CES and you know you got to keep an eye on that during the month of January. Something in interesting that has popped up though this year specifically is that the S5 has been rumored to be announced at CES and this is interesting because the, not the S5, sorry, the S6, the S5 was announced at MWC last year which is around March and this would be really early for this month um, for it to be announced but it could be something that's happening. Um, most phone tech people though that I've heard comment about this have said that's probably not going to happen but for just one second this tech talk, let's take it serious and talk about what we think and what we want to see from the S6 and what we want to see Samsung do with the Galaxy line from now on. So I think the best to start this off would be Austin. He is our main Galaxy user. He has a Galaxy Mega, went from, came from the S3, so he has the most experience yeah. with Galaxy devices. Let's start off with him and what he thinks about it. I have my good days and bad days. I love Samsung some days, I don't like them other days. But uh, if we go back to the primary, prime examples of Samsung, we got to go back to the Galaxy Alpha and the Note 4 that had just come out. And I want to see a new design for the S line. I want to see a metal design for the S line more than anything. Um, of course, I want it to be future proof. I want to see some software updates that will that can also be added to the phone. Yeah, my uh, my friends here, I, I really want that new design. Of course, I love the Galaxy Note 4 and the way the Alpha is. I love that phone. That's my favorite phone from Samsung of 2014. Um, because of the, the size, especially the size and that aluminum body, it's, oh, it's beautiful. After using Moto X, just the metal on anything is good. Um, well, and when you hold it too, you notice that the metal definitely has so much more expensive feel to it. Yeah. You feel like you're holding something that costs what you paid for it. Worth your money. Um, one of the very interesting things uh, that we see here in the rumors is a S6 Edge. Now if you've looked at the Note Edge, um, you know it has a little, little curve on it. It's on a little screen. interesting thing. Um, there's a couple prototypes coming out from um, Samsung that have the Edge. One thing I kind of I feel like we are going to see, because we saw this with the Note 4, um, I think we are going to see some type of S6 Edge, or maybe a standalone Edge device. I'm not sure if it's going to have uh, a name with attached with it. Um, but I feel like we are going to see some kind of Edge device this year. Um, I, I, I would expect that from them. I don't think they're going to give up on that just yet. Um, and I, I, I think that's awesome, because I think new designs of phones are the best thing for this industry, because we always need new things. Um, one of the interesting ones, though, is uh, on both sides it would have the little curve. That would be really interesting. Austin wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. I don't think you would like that. I don't like the edge at all. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I would like that at all because I, I don't. I want to hold my phone. Like I don't want to touch things while I'm holding it. I don't want it to just kind of have to lay in my hand yeah. with, and worry about touching the side buttons. One thing I think would be cool though would be have one at the top. I feel like that would be cool. Just have like your notifications at the top. I think that would be a kind of awesome thing. So get more or maybe size with even at the bottom and take away those uh, buttons. That'd be awesome. Oh, that that's uh, one thing. If Samsung really could improve on something, it would be taking away their hardware buttons and replacing them with on-screen buttons. Unfortunately, I think be am really I cool. the only one that actually likes hard button or well, just buttons in general? Yes. Like yeah. I really don't like using um, software buttons. Yeah. Well, um, I just think that it gives the phone a cleaner look. I just think <clears throat> hardware buttons are so 2012 and get this out of here, okay? They're so prehistoric, get that out right. of there. Wait, it's, it's not 1 AD anymore. So let's, <laughs> let's go get over it. Go over it. So I think that's what they need to get rid of. I don't think they will get rid of it. Um, I'm not expecting to do that. 
Yeah. Because of the iPhone and its whole entire hardware button there, and they're trying to compete with that. I don't think they will get rid of it. The metal feel, I want that. One thing with the software, I want them to tone it down a little bit. Um, and I've seen kind of in the mock-ups of a lollipop on the S5, a little bit of more stock look. I don't yeah. know if you've noticed this. Um, I want that. That's a good thing, Samsung. Tone it down. Like, you can keep some of your features in there. Maybe do, like, Motorola, where you, like, really strengthen a few core features. Um, maybe have a light skin on there, not like that one that block bags you down like crazy. But, like, a really good one. I, I would be down for a touch whiz that isn't so um, gimmicky, that hasn't done that, not that much use. Yeah, I like that. I'd agree. I, well, and there's a lot of features, especially coming from me who uses Samsung, there's a lot of features that they have that are cool, but you just don't use them in the two years you only phone. Yeah. So it'd be actually better if they would focus on some of those specific features. Um, specific features that'll actually make a difference. That's that will make the difference. We'll give it the uniqueness because every phone, every phone company needs uniqueness mm -hmm. in its own way. They, and I totally it. support skins. I know they have to exist because we need differentiators between phones. Mm -hmm. But at least tone it down a little bit. I mean, HTC is pretty good with theirs. They're not too heavy on theirs, but... Yeah, if they could move towards an HTC feel where they keep their Samsung TouchWiz over there, but a uh, little more stock than it is. So it's not, it's not like if you have a Moto and go to a Galaxy, you don't feel like you just jumped completely from one side to the other. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's a smoother transfer, um, and stock's always just a cleaner feel, personally. Obviously. All right, Manuel, we haven't heard from you all that, so what do you have to say? Honestly, when it comes to the Galaxy line, I I hate it just because uh, software-wise, I don't really mind. I just, I don't really care for it. It's not really that much of a hassle. It seems like it slows down the, op the just phone uh, shit ton. Mm -hmm. Because, like, when the Moto, um, when they did performance tests against the Moto G versus the Galaxy S5, the G actually um, performed better. And so if they can tone it down a little bit, focus on some more core features and less on gimmicks like the heartbeat sensor and stuff, yeah, that, that would be nice. Because, like, you mean in my one family, you never use? <laughs> like, in my family, they have Galaxy S5s. I've used it. And I've they've used, used it too. once. Not joking. And, like, they just use some of the core features. They don't really focus on any of the other gimmicks. Um, the only reason why I hate Galaxy with a passion is because I hate soft plastic. If you're, pine, if you're pine, paying a premium like amount for a premium phone, for a high-end phone, you want to get something that feels durable, feels nice. I don't like the soft plastic. I feel like that just feels like one of those $50 phones that you could get from like Walmart. If anything was to really be said from my end of this video, looking forward to rumors or anything about the S6, I think the biggest thing I want to see is a complete redesign. Like, I liked the way the 5 was, but I want to see something as drastic as like when we went from the 2 to the 3. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want to see something that's like, it's new, it's different. You don't feel like you're buying something that looks like it's 3 years old, but new. I got to say, those are probably my two biggest issues. The phone itself, like the casing, if they get rid of the soft plastic, I'll see if I want to buy it. And if they fix the squat cover, they'd probably have less people hating that. Just I don't want a double curved screen. That's not what I mean. I, would, I just want something that's different than what their previous models. I, I want to, yeah, just completely revamp the software, revamp your whole entire phone line. Maybe even just drop the S and bring in something new. I don't know. I almost actually agree with that because I feel like even the S5, I do give it credit and I thought it was cool. I don't feel like it was needed though. Like from, if you read my rundown, it'll see. the S4, it wasn't, we didn't really need it from the S4. So I almost want, they either need a big jump with this S6 or they need to stop it and bring in as their new main line. Mm -hmm. Maybe the A line taking over for the S. So Samsung, you heard it right here. Rickety's Productions is telling you, revamp your software, move it around Lollipop a lot, like take those features and actually do something with have it. So, have some fun with it though. Fix the notifications on Lollipop. <laughs> yeah, please. And, uh, 
new metal body design, maybe even lead to S line. Like, let's see some change. Let's see something awesome. I want Samsung to take over again. I'm looking at you, Samsung. Anyways, thanks for watching again here at Tech Talk. We love doing these videos for you guys. Give us topics in the comments. You want us to talk about something? We'll be happy to talk about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. This is Ricky signing off. You guys should say bye or something. Bye. Peace out.